Yankee Doodle is a well-known Anglo-American song, the origin of which dates back to the Seven Years' War. It is often sung patriotically in the United States today and is the state anthem of Connecticut. Its Roud Folk Song Index number is 4501. History and Lyrics Yankee Doodle went to town riding on a pony. He stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni. Yankee Doodle keep it up, Yankee Doodle dandy, mind the music and the step, and with the girls be handy traditions place its origin in a pre-revolutionary war song originally sung by British military officers to mock the disheveled, disorganized colonial Yankees with whom they served in the French and Indian War. It is believed that the tune comes from the nursery rhyme Lucy Lockett. One version of the Yankee Doodle lyrics is generally attributed to Dr. Richard Shutbro, a British army surgeon. According to one story, Dr. Etymology the term doodle first appeared in the early 17th century and is thought to be derived from the low German doodel, meaning playing music badly, or doddle, meaning fool, or simpleton. The macaroni wig was an extreme fashion in the 1770s and became contemporary slang for foppishness. The macaronis were young English men who adopted feminine mannerisms and highly extravagant attire and were deemed effeminate. They were members of the Macaroni Club in London at the height of the fashion for dandyism, so-called because they wore striped silks upon their return from the Grand Tour and a feather in their hats. They also wore two fob watches, one to tell what time it was and the other to tell what time it was not, round their choking explanation. Their love of horse racing at Cheltenham a Bibery can still be recognized today in the names of the 18th century Macaroni Farm and Macaroni Woods, near East Leach, Gloucestershire, UK. The verse implies that Yankees were so unsophisticated that they thought simply sticking a feather in a cap would make them the height of fashion. Peter McNeil, professor of fashion studies, claims the British were insinuating the colonists were womanish and not very masculine. Early versions The earliest known version of the lyrics comes from 1755 or 1758, as the date of origin is disputed. Brother Ephraim sold his cow and bought him a commission, and then he went to Canada to fight for the nation, but when Ephraim he came home he proved an arrant coward. He wouldn't fight the Frenchman there for fear of being devoured. The Ephraim referred to here was Ephraim Williams, a popularly known colonel in the Massachusetts militia who was killed in the Battle of Lake George. He left his land and property to the founding of a school in western Massachusetts, now known as Williams College. The tune also appeared in 1762, in one of America's first comic operas, The Disappointment, with bawdy lyrics about the search for Blackbeard's buried treasure by a team from Philadelphia. It has been reported that the British often marched to a version believed to be about a man named Thomas Ditson, of Billerica, Massachusetts. Ditson was tarred and feathered for attempting to buy a musket in Boston in March 1775, although he later fought at Concord. Yankee Doodle came to town, for to buy a firelock, we will tar and feather him, and so we will John Hancock. For this reason, the town of Billerica is the home of Yankee Doodle, and claims that at this point the Americans embraced the song and made it their own, turning it back on those who had used it to mock them. A bill was introduced to the House of Representatives on July 25, 1999 recognizing Billerica, Massachusetts's America's Yankee Doodle Town. After the Battle of Lexington and Concord, a Boston newspaper reported, upon their return to Boston, pursued by the Minutemen, one, Britain, asked his brother officer how he liked the tune now, dang them, returned he, they made us dance it till we were tired, since which Yankee Doodle sounds less sweet to their ears, the British responded with another set of lyrics following the Battle of Bunker Hill, the 17th of June, at break of day, the the rebels they suppressed us with their strong works, which they'd thrown up to burn the town and drive us. There is another version attributed to Edward Bangs, a student at Harvard College, who in 1775 or 1776 
wrote a ballad with 15 verses circulated in Boston and surrounding towns. Yankee Doodle was also played at the British Surrender at Saratoga in 1777. On February 6, 1788, Massachusetts ratified the Constitution by a vote of 186 to 168. To the ringing of bells and the booming of cannons, the delegates trooped out of Brattle Street Church. Before many days had passed, the citizens sang their convention song to the tune of Yankee Doodle. Here are the lyrics to their song. The vention did in Boston meet, the state house could not hold, M. So then they went to Federal Street, and there the truth was told, M. And every morning went to prayer, and then began disputing, till opposition's silence were, by arguments refuting. Now politicians of all kinds, who are not yet decided, may see how Yankees speak their minds, and yet are not divided. So here I end my federal song, composed of 16 verses, may agriculture flourish long and commerce fill our purses. Full version A full version of the song, as it is known today, goes. Yankee Doodle went to town A riding on a pony, stuck a feather in his cap and called it macaroni. Chorus, Janky Doodle keep it up, Janky Doodle dandy, mind the music and the step, and with the girls be handy. Father and I went down to camp, along with Captain Gooding, and there we saw the men and boys as thick as hasty pudding. Chorus, and there we saw a thousand men as rich as Squire David, and what they wasted every day, I wish it could be saved. Chorus, the lasses they eat it every day, would keep a house a winter, they have so much, that I'll be bound, they eat it when they've mind tear. Chorus, and there I see a swamping gun large as a log of maple, upon a deuced little cart, a load for father's cattle. Chorus, and every time they shoot it off, it takes a horn of powder, and makes a noise like father's guns, only a nation louder. Chorus, I went his night to one myself as sires in the pinning, and father went as nigh again, I thought the deuce was in him. Chorus, Cousin Simon grew so bold, I thought he would have cocked it, it scared me so I shrinked it off and hung by father's pocket. Chorus, and Cap N. Davis had a gun. He kind of clapped his hand ONT and stuck a crooked stabbing iron upon the little end ONT. Chorus, and there I see a pumpkin shell as big as mother's basin. And every time they touched it off they scampered like the nation. Chorus, I see a little barrel too, the heads were made of leather, they knocked on it with little clubs and called the folks together. Chorus, and there was Cap N. Washington, and gentle folks about him, they say he's grown so, tarn out proud he will not ride without M. Chorus, he got him on his meeting clothes, upon a slapping stallion, he sat the world along in rows, in hundreds and in millions. Chorus, the flaming ribbons in his hat, they looked so tearing fine, ah, I wanted dreadfully to get to give to my Jemima. Chorus, I see another snarl of men a digging graves they told me, so, tarn al long, so, tarn al deep, they, tended they should hold me. Chorus, it scared me so, I hooked it off, nor stopped, as I remember, nor turned about till I got home, locked up in mother's chamber. Chorus, variations and parodies. Many other variations and parodies have since arisen, including one taught to school children today. Yankee Doodle went to town a riding on a pony he stuck a feather in his hat and called it Macaroni Yankee Doodle. Keep it up Yankee Doodle dandy mind the music and the step and with the girls be handy. Father and I went down to camp along with Captain Gooding and there we saw the men and boys as thick as hasty pudding. Chorus and there was Captain Washington and gentle folks about him they say he's grown so tarn out proud he will not ride without them. Chorus, kids version Yankee Doodle, Yankee Doodle, went to town a riding on a pony, stuck a feather in his cap and called it macaroni. Chorus, Yankee Doodle keep it up, Yankee Doodle dandy, mind the music and the step, and with the girls be handy. Father and I went down to camp, along with Captain Gooding, and there we saw the men and boys as thick as hasty pudding.
Chorus There was Captain Washington, upon a slapping stallion, giving orders to his men I guess there were a million. Another version is, verse 1, a Yankee boy is trim and tall, and never over fat, sir, at dance, or frolic, hope and ball, as nimble as a rat, sir. Chorus Yankee Doodle guard your coast, Yankee Doodle Dandy, fear not then or threat nor boast, Yankee Doodle Dandy. Verse 2 He's always out on training day, commencement or election, a truck and trade he knows the way, a thriving to perfection. Verse 3 His door is always open found, his cider of the best, sir, his board with pumpkin pie is crowned, and welcome every guest, sir. Verse 4 Though rough and little is his farm, that little is his own, sir, his hand is strong, his heart is warm, tis truth and honor's throne, sir. Verse 5 his country is his pride and boast, he'll ever prove true blue, sir, when called upon to give his toast, tis Yankee Doodle, do, sir. Popular culture, President John F. Kennedy, from Massachusetts, bought a pony for his little daughter Caroline while he was in the White House. The family named it Macaroni, after the song Yankee Doodle, although the name refers to the feathered cat rather than the pony. Music Dueling Banjos, composed by Arthur Guitar Boogie Smith in 1955, contains riffs from Yankee Doodle. Alvin and the Chipmunks covered the song for their debut album Let's All Sing with the Chipmunks. Radio The Voice of America begins and ends all broadcasts with the interval signal of Yankee Doodle. Sports at the conclusion of the 1981 Wimbledon Championships, in which American tennis star John McEnroe had defeated his longtime rival Bjorn Borg, TV commentator Bud Collins took note of the July 4th holiday and McEnroe's red, white and blue attire and quipped. Stick the feather in his cap and call him McEnroe. Todd Sloan, the Hall of Fame racing jockey, his reputation was such that he was the Yankee Doodle in the George M. Cohan musical Little Johnny Jones and the basis for Ernest Hemingway's short story, My Old Man. Television The PBS kids show Barney and Friends adapts Yankee Doodle as its theme song. The children's cartoon series Roger Ramjet adapts Yankee Doodle as its theme song. Roger Ramjet and his eagles, fighting for our freedom, fly through in and out of space, not to join M, but to beat M, Roger Ramjet. He's our man, hero of our nation, for his adventures, just be sure, and stay tuned to this station. Ramjet's four child sidekicks, the American Eagle Squadron, are named Yank, Doodle, Dan, and Dee. The title of the song has been parodied in the Looney Tunes cartoons Yankee Doodle Daffy and Yankee Doodle Bugs. The title of the song is parodied in a Tom and Jerry cartoon, Yankee Doodle Mouse. In a similar example to the John F. Kennedy one above, an episode of Julius Jr. featured Clancy's pony, named Macaroni. This could be a reference to Yankee Doodle. The song was used as title card music to the episode Turner Back Time of the Fairly Odd Parents. A Sesame Street parody of the song was done by music writer Don Music, who centered the song around cooking macaroni. In the song, Yankee Doodle stayed at home and cooked macaroni in a pot for his pony. Plastic Man sings the song in Batman, The Brave and the Bold. Toys and Games, two of the children's toys called Sing and Marjigs sing this song. The Wii video game of Wii Music features this song as a playable level. The video game Fallout 3 plays this song regularly on the Enclave's radio station. Wolfenstein 3D features a parody version of this song, mixed with a parody version of the Star Spangled Banner, as a part of background music.